Day six in the sentencing phase for Hollis Daniels was filled with more testimony, including the personal account of Carmen East, the wife of Officer Floyd East Jr., who detailed how she found her husband, found out that her husband had been murdered on campus. KLBK's Jaxie Pigeon was there for us once again. Jaxie, now she wasn't the only person we heard from on the stand today, correct? Well, to start off week two, Hollis Daniels capital murder trial, the prosecution called more witnesses to the stand who'd interacted with Daniels or seen him during the hours leading up to the shooting of Officer East. We also heard from a director with the Department of Criminal Justice who told that jury what Daniels future would look like if he was in jail, if he was given parole or death. He says the jury decides to give Daniels the death penalty. He would spend a majority of his time in isolation. On Monday, prosecutors called a victim of an armed robbery involving Hollis Daniels. The victim says Daniels wanted to buy 200 Xanax pills from him. He says when he got into Daniels' car at Ribble Park, Daniels put a gun to his head and said, quote, give it to me. The witness handed over the pills and got out of the car, this happening just hours before the deadly shooting on October 9, 2017. Orlando Perkins, who used to buy and sell marijuana with Daniels, says he was with him at that same park that day and remembers him saying he'd robbed someone at gunpoint and stolen their Xanax. Perkins says this was not like Daniels, who is typically calm and quiet. Before the prosecution rested, they called Officer East's widow, Carmen East, to the stand. She was overseas for work when her husband was killed. She remembers a phone call they had, which was Sunday night in Ireland, but Monday morning in Lubbock. And Officer East ended the call saying, quote, good night and I love you. Around three in the morning Ireland time after that phone call, her close friend called her and asked if she had heard from Floyd because she knew there was an officer down at Tech and couldn't get a hold of him. When her hotel room phone rang about an hour later, she says, quote, that's when I knew something had gone down. An officer broke the news to her that her husband Floyd had died in the line of duty. Carmen immediately came home. The defense's first witness was Stacy Elliott, who was an advisor at Texas Tech back in 2016 when she received an email from Daniel's mother, Janice, asking about counseling. Elliott replied back that she was not a counselor, but copied two people who could help. One was Denise Tiarina, the dean of students at the time. Tiarina testified next, saying she was told Janice Daniels called the Texas Tech crisis hotline, saying that her son stole a gun and that he was suicidal. She also says that a counselor spoke to Daniels just before 7 that night, and he denied having a gun or suicidal thoughts. To close out the day, we heard from Andrew Ortiz, Daniels' sweetmate at Talkington Hall. He testifies that Daniels used marijuana, quote, all day long, every day. He also says either the night before or the morning of the shooting, he remembers Daniels telling him he'd been taking Xanax for days. Prosecutors asked if he was ever concerned about Daniels being a risk to himself and others. To that, Ortiz responded, quote, no, that had never crossed my mind. In the court recess for the day just before 3.30 this afternoon, and we'll pick back up at 9 Tuesday morning with more defense witnesses being called to the stand.